Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be soldering together a little bit of copper pipe for a air system that I wanna put here in the shop. Basically, I've got a small run of where I need to run some pipe. I had a whole bunch of copper pipe left over to me by the previous owner of the home that I purchased a few months back. I had to buy a few parts and a few things for this little project, but I basically need to run uh, some pipe from where my air compressor is to where the hose reel is. It's not a very far run. A uh, simple little project here. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so this is some pretty crusty, dusty, old copper pipe. Lock this down a little bit tighter. So you just take some uh, scratch cloth, as we called it, and you have to do a really good job of cleaning up the ends of a copper pipe, especially old crusty copper pipe like this when you're soldering it together. And as you're cleaning it, just make sure that it gets nice and shiny or the solder will not take. Probably made a little bit too short of a piece of scratch cloth here. That's fine. All right, next thing you gotta do is take a wire brush that fits inside the fitting of the pipe. So this would be a three quarter inch brush. And you just turn it around a few times. You can purchase these little hex bit adapter ones to run in a drill, which I did enough of this at times, but that was definitely worth it. So that'll fit right over the top there. The only thing we're missing is a little bit of flux. This is some really old flux. Hopefully it'll still take solder. So you uh, run flux around. You do have to have this stuff. It's not optional around both uh, the fitting and the pipe. Take your roll of solder here and uh, put a little 90 degree bend in it and start heating up the pipe. I want to turn this up a little bit higher. Get it nice and hot. So you want to heat up on the inside of the joint here. I say inside, uh, further back because that heat will suck the solder right down in. Yep. Probably got too much there. Yeah, it's already dripping. Like I said, I'm a little out of practice. I probably have a little dog nut down there. Definitely not necessary, but a habit of mine because of the company I worked for, we all did this. Run a little flux on it. Kind of shines it up good. It's gonna be nice and hot, but I'll just take uh, this rag and just kind of wipe it down. Kind of cleans it up a little bit. Makes it look nice. Yep, I think that took all the way around. So when you're doing joints like this, where you can heat from the bottom, heat from the bottom because heat rises. this uh this piece on from the old system that this guy had so i just uh heated it up sweated it off pulled it off now i need to sweat it back on there we go should be all the way back on because since we're hot we'll just hit up this one we're down to half inch copper here Make sure we go around the other side here. All right, and one more joint on this side. All right, I do try to avoid the little dog nuts, but sometimes you just can't help it. All right, it's still a little hot, but we have a nice quick disconnect. Hooking up to the hose here. Flows out of the pipe on the other side. These little rigid cutters, 
pretty fantastic. Pick them up at Home Depot. I think that's where I got them. Uh, Rigid's pretty much the name of the game when it comes to plumbing supplies. And this is, of course, not the same Rigid that makes the power tools. The power tools Rigid, I believe, just borrows the name from this Rigid, who is uh, mostly, as far as I know, a plumbing and pipe tools company. They might do some other stuff I'm not aware of. So if you are unfamiliar with soldering, and you look inside of this fitting here, you might think, man, that's some really nice clean looking copper. Well, that's what I thought, thought when I first started plumbing. And of course the guys I was working with that were showing me how to do this, told me to clean it out. But I thought, nah, that's clean. That's a brand new fitting. There's no corrosion on there, nothing. That is perfectly clean. No reason to brush that out. Well, it didn't take long for me to figure out that it doesn't matter how clean it looks, it needs to be brushed out. You might notice that I changed a different torch. I just got sick of using the striker to light up that other torch. This torch I'm using is the one I actually use while plumbing. It's just uh, really noisy and not very nice and, and the flame doesn't come out real nice. I don't know. I wanted to get away from using it, but you just can't beat that striker that's on the automatic striker that's on here. We're good. Probably not the cleanest setup I've ever done, but it, it works. Copper is a great conductor of heat. With all the welding I've done over the last few years, I just expect this to still be piping hot because steel just stays hot forever, but it's already cool enough to touch. Of course, it is fairly cool, cool out here, maybe down in the 40 degrees, probably down in the 40s, if not into the 30s. All right, we'll stick the hose reel hose up in there and shut this valve off to test it. I think I've only got like maybe 20 PSI inside of the air tank here. So we'll see uh, if we actually have any holes. Well, I definitely don't hear any hissing. Should be good to go. Just kind of giving you a full shot of the whole system here. Here's our hose reel. Oh, gotta turn that on. All right, I figured I'd just show you the air system here. Coming off the air compressor, I have a 3 8 inch valve that goes to a quick coupler there and then this little short hose remnant that comes up here to the quick coupler on the copper line. And as you can see, I have a series of reducers and things. Sorry, it keeps going out of focus to the copper pipe. And then the copper pipe goes up and around the door and down to this half inch by three quarter reducer. And then the half inch to FIP, sorry, MIP uh, adapter and then a 3 8 inch adapter to a quarter inch adapter, then the coupling, and then this swivel hose that then goes up to the hose reel. Hey, how does that look? Oh, that's just sticky stuff. Anyway, then to a 3 quarter inch ball valve and an air dryer or an air water separator, then the hose reel itself. I am sure this is probably one of the most boring project videos I put together. But it was a nice little project to do here in the shop. Thanks everyone for watching. If you could go give this video a big thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you go down and click subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.